Hi! In this video we're going to talk about the Neoclassical period of English literature. The Neoclassical period was from 1660 to 1798, the year when World War lyrical ballads were published. In this period, people were trying to bring classical things back, like Roman and Greek, but in a new way. The Neoclassic period is also called the Age of Reason, period of enlightenment, and era of logic. It is characterized by order, accuracy, and structure. The literature of this age included parody, essays, satire, letters, fables, melodrama, and rhyming with couplets. This period is divided in three stages, Restoration period, Augustan period, and the age of Johnson. In this video we're going to talk about each one of them, about some dates, people that were important, facts, and works that were published. First, the Restoration period. It lasted from 1660 to 1689. The term is used to describe the period of time in which the English, Scottish and Irish monarchies were restored to Charles II, and the years afterwards where a new political settlement was established. In poetry and drama, there was a lot of French and classical influence. Literature, as novels, biographies, history, travel writing and journalism gained confidence during this period. Also, restoration period witness news become a commodity. The essay developed into political art form and the beginnings of textual criticism. In this period, we can find literary figures as John Dryden, who was the most relevant author of this period, Sir William Temple, John Locke, Samuel Pepys, Afro Ben, Jean Rosin, and Jean Baptiste Pocklin. Some of the relevant works of this period are Awful Love, and A Prologue and an Epilogue by John Dryden, Pilgrim's Progress by John Bunyan, Paradise Lost by John Milton, Sodom by Earl of Rochester, The Country Wife by William Wycherley, and Treatises of Government by John Locke. Then we have the Augustan Age. The Augustan Age is the period after the Restoration Era to the death of Alexander Pope the most relevant literary figure from this period, that lasted from 1690 to 1744. This period is distinguished by its striving for harmony and precision, its urbanity and its imitation of classical models as Virgil and Horace. The works published in this age exhibit qualities of order, clarity and stylistic decorum, also insisted that nature is the true model and a standard of writing. But we talk about nature not as the concept of flowers and animals, but as a rational and comprehensible moral order in the universe. These period relevant writers are Alexander Pope, John Dryden, Daniel Defoe, Jonathan Swift, John Gay, Joseph Addison, Francois Marie Arpoet de Voltori, and Lady Marie Worthley Montagu. And some of the relevant works of this period were Rape of Luck and The Donciad by Alexander Pope, Gulliver's Travel and A Tale of a Tough by Jonathan Swift, Robinson Crusoe and A Journal of the Plague Year by Daniel Defoe, The Spectator by Joseph Addison and Richard Steele, and Beggar's Opera by John Gay. Now, the age of Johnson. Finally, the last stage of the Neoclassical period. The age of Johnson, also called the age of transition, or the Age of Sensibility, was a period that lasted from 1750 to 1798. In this period, older ideals were passing and newer ones were slowly emerging. The middle class was making its power felt in politics, the authority of the aristocracy was slowly weakening. George III was the one in charge, and American and French Revolution were happening. In the literature of this age, Man was seen as an individual, and the authors were emphasizing on each individual's feeling and emotion. Also, new sources were discovered, like the northern literature which led to the use of mythological creatures unknown by the European public. 
this period has important authors like Samuel Jensen, Hester Lynch Thrill, Edward Gibbon, James Boswell, George Crabbe, Robert Barnes, and Thomas Gray. And some of the relevant works of this period are Lives of Poets by Samuel Jensen, The Declining Fall of the Roman Empire by Edward Gibbon, and Elegy Writing in a Country Churchyard by Thomas Gray. As we can see, the neoclassical period was a niche of reflection, people were praised with and parody, but also was a time to be careful with their moral appearances, because they were more valued than honesty. In my opinion, the neoclassical period was a pretty interesting age. People begin to make reflections on the world that surrounds them, but also in themselves and their feelings. But it didn't stop there. They also criticize and make fun of all of that using the parody and satire. And I think that's an interesting way to make a reflection of such a deep and complex matter that is to understand ourselves and the world.